Will we finally get a US dollar breakout in the week ahead? And how will that impact pairs like the Euro USD, the dollar yen, the dollar Swiss franc, and also the dollar CAD for the week ending January 19th, 2024? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Hey everyone, Justin Bennett here with Daily Price Action. And let's go ahead and jump right into it here with the DXY daily time frame. So you can see that clearly the US dollar has been locked in this range between this area down here at 101.90. Okay, so this is our support level that we've been discussing now for the past week or so. All right, so support down here, you can see it was tested uh, during that NFP Friday. And then we have resistance up here at 102.60. Now we have seen the DXY try to get through this area, including that Friday session, as well as a few times here last week. However, you know, clearly this level is holding up as resistance. Okay, so very much a stalemate here for the US dollar index, the DXY, um, as we start the new year, which is not that uncommon. It does typically take a few weeks for markets to really start to trend. And the DXY being sideways like this is one reason why we have seen much of the market just kind of sideways here to start the new year. Now, despite being sideways, though, one thing that I have maintained for the past uh, couple of weeks here is that the DXY did come off of this critical area at 100.85 late last year. Now we saw the drop below 101.90. So you can see that this has been a pivot for the DXY here for um, really about six months or so. Okay, so this was our fake out that we caught back here um, in mid 2023. And you can see where here, okay, this is not a major fake out because back here you can see that this was a fake out uh, or a reclaim of that key level, which was also the range lows. This right here was not at the range lows. However, this was a critical level and we've since seen the DXY reclaim 101.90. So that in and of itself um, is, you know, potentially bullish, okay? Now, there are varying levels of bullish and bearish, and that's why I've said that I am cautiously bullish on the US dollar. However, I do need to see the DXY follow through here with a sustained break above the 102.60 area. So it's going to take daily closes up here in order to flip this level back to support. All right, now if we get that, we're looking at levels like 103.50, that 2023 open, and potentially the highs up here at 104.20. Now these highs up here are what will be critical for the DXY to change the structure from bullish to bearish. All right, now as far as the, the downside here, if we do see the DXY break back below 101.90, because we have to entertain that as well with a sideways market like this. So if we see a sustained break below here on the daily chart, then we're looking at a move back here toward the low around 100.85 and potentially even the low from back here in July of last year around 99.6. All right, so very much an indecisive market um, for the DXY, but I am waiting to see if we get confirmation above 102.60 or below 101.90. I think that that's going to be the key driver for most of the Forex market in the week ahead. So next up, we have the Euro USD, which like the DXY has been very sideways to start the new year. However, we did get the move below 110, which we saw that break last year. Okay, so late last year, we did get the break above 110. And this so far to me is a fake out. Now, this was very early in the year, so illiquid conditions. So you do have to be careful with that because liquidity does equal conviction in the Forex market. So you can see where the EURUSD clearly closed back below that 110 level. We haven't seen a full retest of that level yet though. So I think that's important to keep in mind because uh, we could see that here over the coming days where the euro usd may want to move up here and sweep these recent highs to give us a full retest of 110 before we get some more selling pressure but despite being very sideways here um, the technicals are really clean same thing with the dxy so when we look at this here on the daily chart it becomes really simple in the sense that if we see the euro usd trading back above 110 on a daily closing basis okay if we get some daily closes up here then it negates the idea that this back here was a fake out and that would be bullish toward levels like 111.40, potentially higher. All right, now if we get the Euro USD breaking down, okay, so this would be bullish. If we get the Euro USD breaking down and closing days below 1.088, all right, so this pivot right through here, you can see where again, this was tested during that Friday NFP session. All right, so if we get the Euro USD breaking down, closing down here in this area, then this level flips to resistance. And we're looking at a run down here at the 1.0755 swing low from last year. Okay, so really clean, you know, overall in terms of the technicals here. So even though the market is sideways, I do think we're going to have an opportunity coming up over the coming days. It's just a matter of which way this breaks. But again, we do have this confirmed fake out up here right now to suggest, at least for me, 
that I am cautiously bearish on the euro. But again, I do need to see more from the DXY. And I also need to see the euro get below this area down here at 1.088. Next up, we have the dollar yen, which gave us a nice little breakout to start the new year. So this is something we talked about um, in the VIP group at the time. So I mentioned this breakout here from this trend line on the four hour time frame. You can see where this was very well defined based on all of these swing highs up here from late last year. Okay, so we got the breakout through here. And this is what I mentioned to VIP members. And you can see that we did get a nice little rally here from the dollar yen to start the new year, although markets still remain pretty indecisive. And by the way, if you do want to join us in VIP, see the link at the top of this video for 70% off lifetime access. You're going to get daily videos, exclusive charts and setups. You'll be able to see my trades in real time. And you'll also get access to the new course that's coming out this month. All right, so we had the breakout here from the dollar yen. But ultimately, when we look at the daily chart, um, it has been pretty sideways here for the past few days. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that so far, we do have the dollar yen trading above this area around 144.80. Now, it wasn't respected back here during this volatility, um, but you can see where this area has been critical uh, going back here to the middle of last year. In fact, if you zoom out, you can even see where this level was critical back here as well as resistance in 2022. All right, so this area is a critical factor for the dollar yen, and it did close just above that on Friday. Okay, so if we are going to see um, this pair move lower, then you're gonna wanna see it trading below this level here on a daily closing basis. So far, this is support. So right now we have a range here for the dollar yen between 144.80 and 146.50. So you can see up here too, 146.50 is also very well defined. All right, so looking back here, this is an incredibly clean level here. We've got resistance back here on the daily chart, support, support through here and resistance on that breakdown. Now we didn't see a full retest up here in this area. So we could see that level tagged here over the coming days if we see strength from the dollar. All right, so much like the rest of the market, this is very much a level by level um, pair right now in the sense that right now we do have the market holding above this. So this is going to be support to start the new week. A close below would be bearish toward 142. However, if we get the market moving higher, you've got the range highs up here 146.50 close above that, we're looking at 148.35. All right, so you can see where this was also a critical level over the past few months. So some really clean levels here for the dollar yen, despite the fact that it has been a little bit difficult to trade so far in 2024. Next up, let's take a look at the US dollar versus the Swiss franc. And don't forget guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications because I am putting out six of these videos every single week. So be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out also show your support, smash the like button, and leave your comment below. Okay, so looking at this pair, this is actually really clean price action um, over the past six months. So you can see that we have this range that developed starting with the high back here. And what happened during this period was called a fake out or a deviation. So you can see right here where the dollar franc actually closed above this area. So it held above 91.47 for several days up here. Even this candle right here never closed below. Okay, now we did get the close below right here on this candle. The next candle retested that level as new resistance. And this right here was an incredibly aggressive sell-off from this pair. Okay, so fake outs like this, guys, um, I'm going to say it over and over again here in these videos that these are incredibly high probability setups in the Forex market. So that's exactly why I'm paying attention now to the recent price action relative to those lows back here in July. Okay, so 85.66. I'm gonna say 85.80 to be conservative. I wanna see this market trading back above this area. I wanna see it trading up here on a daily closing basis to make this down here a fake out. Okay, because it would be very similar to what we saw up here. Okay, so something like this down here. Now this is unconfirmed. I mentioned this last week. Okay, but we need to see the market trading back above 85.80 in order to signal that this down here is a fake out and send the market higher. So if we get that, right, then I think we're looking at something like this for the dollar versus the franc, very similar to what we got back here. But again, the market does have to reclaim this area over the coming days. So that's gonna be critical this week. This right now is resistance. This is not a buy. All right, we need to see the pair above this area here. We need to see the DXY reclaiming 102.60. Those are gonna be key components to justify a long position here for the dollar Swiss franc. Of course, none of this is ever financial advice. It's for educational purposes only, uh, but I do think that's what it's gonna take 
to send this market higher. All right, so this is inconclusive as of now, but I do think it's going to be one to watch just because if we do get that, there is the chance for a run back here toward levels like 8,900 and potentially even a move back here toward the range highs. All right, so this isn't one for trading right now, but I do think that this is one to keep on your watch list. And last but certainly not least is the dollar CAD. Okay, this is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And looking at the two-week time frame, we've talked about this before, but ever since back here in 2015, this pair has, has been moving within this massive equidistant channel. Now it's coming off the lows down here. It's, it's carved higher lows. However, we have not seen higher highs because of that macro resistance that we've talked about. Now I was getting bullish here um, days ago. And the reason for that is because we have this trend line off of this low from way back here in 2021. Okay, so uh, you can see where off of this low down here, we've got several lows along this trend line and notice what happened here recently. So I talked about this in videos previously, but you can see where this right here is that trend line. And on the daily chart, we did get a reclaim right back here. Okay, now this Friday session during NFP, we got a sweep of those lows. However, notice where the market closed. It closed right back above. Okay, so this was step one of that reclaim process that I talked about. I've discussed this a couple of times here recently, but the second step was to get a sustained break above 1.338, okay, this area up here. And you can see where we did on this candle here, the market held above it on this candle on Thursday and again on Friday. Furthermore, look where Friday retested. All right, look at Friday's low right off of that trend line. All right, so again, this is our trend line down here. We saw the sweep on this candle. Friday session sold off. However, it bounced right from that trend line again. Okay, now one other thing too, if you guys saw recent videos, and this is why it's so important to subscribe to this channel because I talk about all of this in detail and also follow up with you guys on this stuff. So one thing I mentioned recently is that I wanted to see last week close above the previous week's high. So this was the previous week's high and we got the close above last week. Okay, now it was very close. It wasn't, you know, anything super convincing, but you can see where, you know, clearly the market did close above that high. All right, so, you know, so far this is holding up. All right, the idea that the market has reclaimed that level is holding up. However, I do want to see the DXY closing above 102.60. That right now for me is the holdout. Um, I do have a long position here, as I've told VIP members. You know, another reason to be in our VIP group, because I did announce my long entry on this retest right here recently. Okay. My stop was, you know, down here, giving it lots of room here, knowing that NFP was coming up. So this candle right here was not a problem. All right. And I do have a pretty lofty target on this. Um, and I will be scaling out along the way. So again, all the more reason to be in our VIP group. Uh, but bottom line here for the dollar cat, I am long. That position is in profit now, but I'm not going to celebrate because that can change very quickly. All right. So still a little bit more work here to do. Although this is looking good uh, for a reclaim of that area down here that we saw break last year. So that wraps up this week's Forex Forecast video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on videos throughout the week. And please show your support, smash the like button, leave your comment below, and don't forget to claim your 70% off VIP access. See the link in the description. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again on Monday.